Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Arms Beer TV. Uh, I'm your host, Arm Mekong, aka Beer Lover. Hey, uh, we got a beer from Belgium, which I visited back in 2006. Uh, this is uh, Lucifer. It uh, used to be part of the uh, river uh, uh, groups, but uh, they kind of went bankruptcy. So now it's a uh, brew at uh, Het Anchor, which is in uh, Mechelen, about 20 uh, miles outside of uh, Brussels. And uh, I visit my buddy, uh, Charles, and stay at his brewery and his bed and breakfast. It was an outstanding place. It was about 20 minutes outside Brussels. So if you ever visit Brussels and like to visit a brewery about 20 minutes away, Head Anchor is the place to visit. Nice, small town, medieval place. It's awesome. And actually, that's the first place that I had my first tapas. Mm. Yeah, it was... Uh, a block right behind the brewery, it was this Spanish tapa. It was that wonderful Spanish food. So that's how I remember. Mm. Beer and food it's always come side by side with me. So uh, Lucifer, it's a uh, Belgium strong pale ale, around eight, eight and a half percent. So you never know when it's eight or eight and a half. So, but it's, it fluctuates eight or eight and a half percent. So um, here it is. Let's uh, up. Put it up and let it breathe. Ooh, it got that champagne pop. So uh, I believe the slogan for this beer, Lucifer, it's uh, one hell of a beer. So let's uh, give this beer a little taste here. Have you guys tasted any good uh, Belgium uh, pale ale, guys? Uh, I think you, you let us uh, try one earlier. Yeah? Yeah, that was pretty solid. Which one was it? With the BPA? Ah, from Alma Gang. Oh, Belgian yeah, yeah. style pale ale. So, ooh. Wow, I, I can smell that sweet malty banana, apple already. Hey, guys. Have a taste? Okay. What do you guys think of the color? Nice cloudy yellow color to me. Yeah. Uh, like copper, like light copper. Good head though. It's got it got that champagne's head. Humongous head. A lot of bubbles. Yeah, humongous head. There it is. Lucifer. Belgium strong pale ale. Yep. It's kinda like unfiltered yellow, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's give the nose a little treat. Woo wee! Okay. That Belgium signature, that sweet malty, like Belgium sugar. Mmm. Tastes a little clove, a little uh, herbal honey, and a little apple. What else you guys uh, smell in it, guys? Even a little clove. Got a little clove in it, yeah. So. Another fruit in there. I'm trying to figure out this. Yeah? Fruit. Uh, let's see, fruit, huh? I can't pick it up. A little tropical fruit. Tropical but fruit. to me, uh, like uh, sweet apple. Like an apple uh, uh, style or, or, or brand of apple that is sweet, like uh, red and delicious mm. or golden delicious, something like a very ripe apple. Yep. And you got a little clove in there too, clove. If you are from the very end, you can taste a little, uh, uh, not taste, but you can smell a tiny bit of the little spiciness to it. I think that's from the sage hops. Mm. So. Overall, Great aroma. Very, very classic yep. Belgian. Yeah, very Belgian-based aroma. You know, clear, sweet candy. And then you got uh, apple-ish, clove, and a little uh, spice from the hops. So there it is. So let's keep the tongue little treat, guys. Keep the tongue little treat. Cheers. Mmm. Oh wow, mm. compared to uh, lots of Belgian beer, this is on uh, the flavor, very light. Um, up front, what do you guys taste? Guys, <laughs> clueless, huh? It tastes apple. 
It was so good, you guys are yeah. just clueless. I, I know. Yeah. Speechless. Mmm. Yeah, definitely taste the apple, though. Yeah, definitely taste the apple. Mm hmm Wow. From the, you know, pop from the bottom, you think it's very, it's very carbonated. Mm hmm And the head is very, it had big head, but in terms of mouthfeel with the carbonation, it's soft. Got lots of bubble, but it's soft, soft feel. It's like, uh, you know, cotton candy just, you know, melt right on your tongue. Uh, up front, got good sweet malty, like Belgian malt. And they got apple, like uh, sweet and delicious or, uh, or golden That's apple. Yeah. And it got a little truck of fruit, like um, pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. Or even a little uh, pear. Yeah, more pear. A little yeah, you're pear. Right, yeah. And um, got clove, a little clove, and, uh, and honey, sweet honey, right in the middle. And this beer finished real, 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 real well. Uh, it's got that uh, nice um, grassy hops right at the end with just a touch of sweetness to it. And then the hops still, you know, uh, ting, you know, just still grab to your teeth. So that's a sign of great beer. It's a very elegant beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a Belgian beer, it's not too sweet. Uh, this is great beer. It's on the light side rather than on a heavy sweet side. So this is right in the middle. Great fruity taste. And um, I remember, uh, you know, when I was at the uh, at the brewery back in two thousand six. Uh, every morning, you know, you wake up and then you just smell that malt that you know. At the brewery, just smoking out, and you just can sm you can smell and taste the beer right at your tongue, because the bed breakfast is right uh, beside the brewery, and they wake up early and they brew the beer, and by lunchtime, you know everybody going uh, to the restaurant that uh, they have there and uh, enjoying the beer, and sitting there eating and drinking with them, it's just uh, it's an honor to be there with them. So <clears throat> it's a great brewery. Uh, the brewery's been there for so long, I couldn't remember, but it's, it's in this ancient building. And one of the buildings that uh, you can really see uh, bullets still on the wall. Wow. Yeah. From World yeah. War II? Yeah, from World War II. Uh, the, uh, the German, uh, the, the German uh, went through and uh, they loved the beer so much, guys, that they spare the brewery. Cause, wow. Yeah, because normally they would confiscate the copper and steel yeah. Yeah, and turn it into bullets or whatever it, right. it is, you know. But they love the beer. They just, okay, you know, brew the beer for us and we will spare <laughs> you the brewery. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, so that brewery has a great story. Um, along with, you know, Lucifer that they brewed, they, uh, they brew uh, Guten Kellers. Uh, the most popular one, I think, is the Grand Cru. Mm. Which is the yeah, yeah. which is they brew once a year for um, for the King King Charles I think wow. February twenty fourth so anyway this is a great beer I'm glad right now you know it's brew at uh, Head Anchor which is a very very great brewery so so hopefully it'll be around with us to taste for long uh, for uh, down the road so how would you score this ah this beer how do I score this beer. Good fruity, good mouthfeel. Um, I'd probably say uh, around uh, 95. Yeah, because uh, for a very strong pale, it need to be a little more carbonated, more light, more lively. So, mm. yeah. So this is on a soft, uh, fruity side. So, so 95 is uh, my score for this beer. So if you see a loose fruit out on the shelf, it's one hell of beer. So grab yourself a bottle and taste it because i think this beer is badass so once again beer it's the answer i am 